Welcome to your inspirational astrology horoscope for Tuesday, July 16th, 2019. I'm astrologer Dave Palmer, the Leo King, here to illuminate the collective consciousness. Well, thanks for being a part of HighVibe.tv. And if you're new to HighVibe.tv, this is where I do my daily video horoscopes just like this. But of course, on YouTube, I put the new and full moon videos out. And of course, spiritual dance music is free. Deep astrology every week is free. And of course, After Dark, which always comes after Deep Astrology, which ironically, Spiritual Dance Music, Deep Astrology, and After Dark are all happening today on my YouTube. But in order to support those videos for free, check out HighVibe.tv, the spiritual network that I created with my co-founder, Abby Money Hun. We have an app out, but mainly, if you go to HighVibe.tv, you can subscribe to get tons of videos. We have hundreds, almost 700 videos a month on this network. All of my exclusive daily videos are on there and weekly videos for sun sign videos and your daily horoscopes and my tarot and my weekly intuitive. And even if you can't do a subscription, you can buy a video individually, just even like an individual horoscope for a dollar. Also check out my mid 2019 Eclipse Horoscope Master Presentation. This goes into this next six months of how this eclipse cycle is determining the path of where things are gonna end up in the most intense alignment we've ever seen in our lives coming January of 2020. Actually, technically it starts end of December 2019. So this video I am putting on sale exclusive right now for today for the eclipse. It's at highvibe.tv. Click on that video. It's under the paid video section. Thanks for all the support. But before we take a look at our plans, let's take a look at the Leo King's planet energy meter to understand where all the energy is for your lunar eclipse Tuesday. And I'm sending you lots of great energy. I'm sending you lots of love and light. And hoping that you have an awesome, amazing lunar eclipse full moon in Capricorn. Tuesday is nothing but a Tuesday is what I like to say, but it is definitely not any old Tuesday. I'm putting that energy meter at the extreme position. It is a big lunar eclipse because why? We got this full moon in Capricorn where the south node is, this sun in Cancer at 24 degrees, and guess what? Saturn and Pluto hanging out around these degrees, right? This full moon lunar eclipse is on a buildup as it is coming into this waxing form of the moon before it peaks out over Saturn in its home sign with the south node and Pluto in Capricorn. This is intensity. These are major decisions. These are karmic endings. These are karmic beginnings. These are major churning. I've been saying it on my live on Instagram today. It was like, a, you know, an old lady or an old man back in the day, churning butter of karma right now and like plopping out all these like butter sticks and who knows if it's gonna be stale or good. There's a lot to search with the North Node and Venus starting to come into a conjunction point. And this lunar eclipse as well is opposing Venus in many ways, right? So there is a lot about relationships and projects and where are things going? Where do we feel comfortable? And this is about aligning in our emotional foundational truth because we can't reach our destiny, our goals, our ambitions without really being in alignment with truly who we are emotionally. When things don't feel right emotionally, we can't really get where we want to go. We feel stressed. We feel like we're in a box. We feel like we're contained and that's what's going on. How can we break the containers? And also with the South Node on this, Believe it or not, even though Saturn and Pluto are very malefic energies and very kind of tower card and death card together, like those aren't fun to get, but they are wise teachers and they teach you to be stronger. And with the South Node here, this is about letting go of this control, this control over this is what I have to have and be defined at to get where I need to go, even though I might not be emotionally fulfilled or there's some sort of emotion missing. This also brings up with Neptune, Neptune trining this North Node still. We got the North Node as well coming into the alignment of where this, the star Sirius is. This is a serious time about aligning with our ancestors of whether you call that the Egyptians or the Ma- everybody was pointing at this star. This is about aligning with the truth of what a real spiritual humanity is or a true human soul that you are in alignment, not contained in this old system of control systems, of fear that is holding you from your emotional truth or even faking it. This is where people, you can't see the dark side of things. A full moon lunar eclipse on Saturn and Pluto where people might try to deceive or people might try to use people to get to certain places in life, a place of status or for anything and, and sacrifice that emotional truth. And with Saturn in the South Node, if you're not of true spiritual integrity, it'll take you down, you know? Like you've got a big test here, we all do. And especially with Neptune trining the nodes like, and sextiling the South Node, like this is a big deal. 
because we have to be in a truer, more authentic soul. And we have to learn that there are these cycles where we have to learn to like be compassionate and let go with love about situations that are not working out. And especially with Venus getting ready for this Neptune transit coming up this week, we've got a lot of things going on. We've got Mars and Leo, which is charging forward, but we have Mercury retrograde and Leo getting ready to come into Cancer by the end of this week. And so we got a lot that we're looking about our heart. We're blazing forward, but Mercury is also going like, wait, hold on. I want to figure everything out. I want to know the details. I want to like still see you know, what's going on. And so there's a curiosity. We have a lot of planets retrograde. And you have to remember that during this moment, there was a lot about the past. There was a lot about karmic reflection. There was a lot about, you know, what brings us back into true alignment of true self. And you're going to see people kind of flip-flop on their identities with Chiron and Aries now retrograde. You're going to see, like, maybe people are not who they think they, they, they thought they were. Maybe they, they do switch. Maybe they are uncomfortable with being a certain role. And, and this is where Capricorn wants to understand the roles so it knows where to kind of place you on your trail of destiny. So, but you want to make sure that it's in alignment with what your true self is. You don't want to try and like fake it till you make it, which I know we say that in the business communities, right? But the truth is, is that we really aren't faking it if you really love it and you really are that. It's the idea of faking it more of like, oh, that you got your shit together. But there's a, there's a difference between faking it because you're really not that. And that's going to come up a lot. And also with Pluto, there's a lot that's going to come up in Capricorn, right? About your own stuff that you're going to see that's going to be revealed to you, whether that's externally or internally. And it's going to kind of be a combination of both about things that really are not aligned for you. And you have to accept it because filling your own cup to not only like protect yourself, but it's, it's to actually make sure that you are in alignment with who you really are. So you can go on the ultimate road of destiny. Jupiter, remember, is almost out of its retrograde here. Mercury is almost out of its retrograde. Well, almost. I mean, we're getting close. We're a couple of weeks away, but still like at the end of July, beginning of August, we have Mercury and Jupiter turning on. And we got a lot of fire kicking up here as Mars is in Leo and Jupiter is in, 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 and Mars are starting to align of an amazing rocket ship towards new adventures and, and beautiful new places of our heart. But if we are building our foundation in our life off of fake energy or a false sense of self or doing things for status or doing things for, you know, trying to put out this projection of what you want to look like or be when really you are not, and putting your spiritual side or your light work or your soul to the side and putting that ego first, that control part of that ego, or that part that you can't let go of something that karmically is over. There is things that are deep in there that you are going to reveal of why your cup doesn't feel fully fulfilled. And this is about filling that cup. And when you fill that cup back emotionally in your life, you're able to get through, and we need this more than ever, especially with Uranus and Taurus, and we got seven years of this, we are learning these new understandings of what to have and not, and what is really that we got to chuck out of our lives. Uranus is a chucker, you know, Uranus goes through and goes, I don't want this like lightning bolt that choo. And in Taurus, if it doesn't have value anymore, or it's not good and conducive or conducive to creating something beautiful in your life, Uranus will just zap it out. Bye bye. And so there's a lot of learning about these lessons here. And the number one thing is to not have fear. Let go of the control and watch the universe zap things out or, or watch karmic cycles naturally come to their end and watch karmic cycles start new things. But the, in a retrograde, especially if you're trying to bring in something new, like I would definitely, like if it's brand new, new, that, that I'm, I'm calling this new, new, like, you know, maybe it's not really in alignment. I think that there's a time and a place where we are in closing cycles. We are understanding old pattern in cycles. Maybe, maybe they never stop. Maybe they are redirecting into new identities. There's a lot about all of us doing a lot of these big circular, major, almost Mayan-like major clockworks in ourself. Capricorn rules time. Are you putting a time on everything instead of putting you know, your emotional truth that you have lost track of yourself, but you are so committed to reaching some place in time, 
when really, when we step back for a second and we look, all we have to do is really be in our emotional joy, our truth, our real self, and watch time and destiny align with truth. That is the best place of what we would like to think of as control. But what is control? Receiving. And instead of it being a controlling factor, why can't we let destiny just show up by us being in our full, true, emotional, comfortable selves and not being afraid to be bold and be who we are and let go of things that we don't have to feel that we are over putting too much integrity into when we don't have to put that integrity there if it's not in the same alignment to where we have to be bold enough to say no. We have to be bold enough to say, this is what I feel emotionally. This is what feels right. This doesn't feel right. And we have to be bold enough also to say no to things that come from our habits and our patterns, especially with our desires that don't feel that they're connected with our higher light work and our higher ability to be in our spiritual true self of changing this planet in a better place. Card of this eclipse, well, I got the Knight of Swords reversed. Definitely don't be afraid. Definitely, you know, don't be afraid about letting things go. Don't have nightmares about, uh, uh, you know, oh my gosh, this is going to be crazy. The world looks crazy and insane, but it's not. It's truly safer than it's ever been before. And I think that this is realizing that, you know, there's a fear about like, what's going to happen if, let go of that. That's control. Watch magic happen. Magic happens when you do not fear and you trust in God and you trust in the universe and you trust in the divine timing of the universe and destiny and watch all the beauty happen. Thanks so much. I hope that you join me on highvibe.tv to check out all the videos like this. And of course, your support is always appreciated. And I will see you for all the three shows I'm doing today. Spiritual Dance Music, uh, freaking, <laughs> freaking Deep Astrology, and uh, After Dark. Love you all and I'll see you today.